the wrestler to get in. Oh, champion for Penn State, long time. Yeah. Assist Welcome back, guys. Today we'll, we will be going over Jason Nell's low ankle reattack. Um, it's just something I've seen him utilize in a bunch of his matches, so let's get right into it. Counter As you will notice in all of these videos, this is a reshot that he takes, not from the opponent's shot, but from the opponent's fake. He always does this whenever the opponent's fake. Um, this first clip is him against Tyler Berger, number one versus number two in the country. I always try to pick clips of moves of these moves being done against high level opponents because I hate when coaches always say or even wrestlers say, "Well, that won't work on a good guy." So I always try to make sure if I can to try to find these clips against high quality opponents. This is the first time they met in the year. This also ended up being the Big Ten Finals and as well as the NCAA Finals that season. Now in slow motion. Tyler Berger fakes. Jason No sprawls while reaching out. And you can see that position right here. He's on his knees, reaching out with the outside hand. Again, one more time. He fakes. He sprawls and reaches at the same time. And he ends up finishing in every single. What's, what's intriguing about watching the this clip is against Denishek from Indiana. Obviously, he's not Tyler Berger, Isaiah Martinez, or Jordan Burroughs, but it was a pretty good angle that he did this on, and it was a little bit different from the last one. Dolph wrestles that sometimes he'll let uh, the wrestler get in. Wow. So you guys pay attention to it. A small lesson in this video is the reason why you would see Nof do the same thing, but this time he doesn't sprawl back. He actually goes straight down and a little bit forward. And that's because of Denishet's fake. His fake didn't actually look like a shot. He fakes. And you can see in that position that Denishet is in that he's not going to actually shoot. He's just faking. And Jason Nof notices this and instantly just drops down to it. And look at that position. He's on his knee, outside knee, reaching on his outside hand for the ankle. Speed through, just wait for the finish. The creativity of this guy. All right, this is at the World Team Trials for 79 kilograms in the semis. This one is, is a weird angle, so pay a little bit of attention. Oh, catching the foot. It's so you can see from right here, Jordan Burroughs is going to step up with his right leg and does his typical fate level change. As you know, if you're watching the video, Jordan Burroughs is a lot of fakes in double legs. As soon as he does it, Jason Nuff is already dropping. As you can see, he's dropping to that outside knee. He actually gets a claw tie on this one as well. And he goes to that ankle. No. Now, this Look is the sixth this. time world champ. So it's not Man, as easy finishing, obviously, but Jason Nelson still gets a step out, which like is one point in freestyle. Now, this is the first time that Jason Nelson and Isaiah Martinez wrestled. Um, this is Jason Nelson freshman year, and this is Isaiah Martinez sophomore year. At this point, Isaiah Martinez was undefeated, never lost a collegiate match, one-time national champion. So watch this. And this one's a little bit different from the last three. Uh, champion for Penn State, long time yeah. assistant. Counter Let's shot down there a by bit. So Isaiah Martinez fakes, as you can see, with his right leg, almost like a lunge position. And this time, Nof, he actually ends up dropping to his knee and reaching on the with his inside leg and his inside arm, not the outside. So that was a little bit different. He drops. You see his right knee on the ground, as well as he's reaching with that inside arm. And because of that, he ends up getting in a tricky scramble situation. Which is probably why he ends up doing it on the outside. He prefers it that way. No, this way actually end up doing really good in this position. Grab on the leg. He's got back points. He's in control. No question about it. He may pin him here. He ends up getting the pin. Oh, what a shot. So I wanted to close out this 
um, this video with none other than Kale Sanderson, Jason Knowles' coach at Penn State and now the Nittany, the Nittany Lion Wrestling Club. This is Kale Sanderson in 1999, his first of four NCAA um, titles. And watch what Kale Sanderson does. He does the same technique. Watch it slow. Egg on fakes hard. And a lot of time when guys fake like that, they're they're getting themselves out of position. So not only is this a video teaching you how to implement this from the guys fake, it's also teaching you how to fake a little bit better, right? Because you don't want to overextend that fake foot. I mean that, that fake step. Um trying to sell the fake too much because a guy um can counter that and reattack off of that fake. He drops down. As you can see, he's on his knees, reaching out on his leg, and he ends up finishing it. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys. Um, like, comment, subscribe. More videos coming soon. I know I haven't posted in a while, but I want to make sure to post more consistently. <clears throat> more consistently. Thank you.